Hey, y'all, this is Shane Sams, and you are listening to the Flip Lifestyle Podcast. Super excited to be back with you again this week to help another member of the Flip Lifestyle community start, build, and grow an online business that can change their family's future. And my guest today is Kevin Alexander. Had a great opportunity to meet Kevin Alexander out on the road at one of our Flip Your Life live income surge events. Kevin came into that event as a group coach helping speakers kick off their career. Kevin used to be a youth pastor, and after he left the ministry, he got into speaking as a full-time job. And he realized that a lot of people out there had a great message, had a great story, and they wanted to be speakers, but they didn't understand the business of speaking. So Kevin decided to start a membership to help speakers get their message out there and go get paid to speak. So today we're going to cover a lot of ground. I'm going to help Kevin actually build out his coaching program so you can see what does it look like when you go from one-on-one coaching to a group coaching model, and how do you build a membership? How do you go out and get 100, 200 people to join your membership so your group coaching program is always full of buyers from your membership area? We talk a lot about product and a lot about marketing on this episode of the Flip Lifestyle Podcast, and I know you're going to learn a ton so that you can succeed in your online journey too. So wherever you're listening to the podcast today, thank you so much for tuning in. And without further ado, here's the show. Welcome to the Flip Lifestyle Podcast, where life always comes before work. We're your hosts, Shane and Jocelyn Sams. We're a real family that figured out how to make our entire living online. And now, we help other families do the same. Are you ready to flip your life? All right, let's get started. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Flip Lifestyle Podcast. It is so great to be with you again this week. Super excited to help another member of the Flip Lifestyle community take their life, take their business, take their dreams to the next level. And I love it when I have people on the show that I've got to hang out with and hug and hang out with in person. Kevin Alexander, how you doing, buddy? What's up? What's up? Man, I'm I'm pumped, dude. I've been waiting for this conversation because like I haven't talked to you in a while. You know, because we were in a room together hanging out and then I went to the hospital for a long time and didn't like to talk to anybody. And now I'm back <laughs> and like I'm like, this guy's on the same page as me. So I know what's going on. But let's let's catch everybody else up um, with who you are and what you do. Tell us a little bit about uh, your background, um, what it is you do and uh, kind of your online business. Yeah. So um, thanks for having me, man. Uh, and I'm glad you're feeling better, by the way. But um, hey, yeah, so who I am, uh, I'm I'm just a guy from South Florida doing life and following God. But uh, you know, I started I started this whole journey in in youth ministry. Actually, uh, I was a youth pastor for a while, uh, and then when God called me out of full time ministry um, and gave me a vision for starting my own business, I was kind of like, what do I do? Like, what am I good at? What do I love? Um, what do I want to spend my time on? Uh, and something clicked and it was like, wait a minute, one of my favorite parts of being a youth pastor was speaking from the stage and changing lives from the stage. And then I found out there's people that do that for a living. And I was like, I could be a speaker full time, you know? And as I started building my own speaking business and started a digital marketing agency as well as a way to accelerate my way out of a day job, yeah. um, I realized I learned a ton about marketing that most speakers are clueless about. And a lot of especially people, marketing themselves, exactly, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. They just want to write the speech and make PowerPoint slides. That's all they want to do. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I, I was actually on a call, um, a coaching call that, that I was learning from. And the guy on the other end said, you know, to this whole call full of speakers, he said, you guys have to understand you're not just a speaker. You're like 20% speaker, 80% marketer. Cause if you don't market mm-hmm. yourself, you're not going to get any speaking gigs. And to, to me, as a digital marketer, I went, well, duh, okay, I'm fine with that. But then I then it clicked, like most of the other people on that call probably had no clue. They probably went, oh, crap. <laughs> like, right. You know? And dude, marketing scares people. Like, yeah. I go, I speak all the time, like in teaching environments and on big stages. And like, mm-hmm. the, 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 if, to a person in the seminar area where it's like 200 to 500 people, Mm-hmm. You, you say marketing and people look like you're just speaking Egyptian hieroglyphics. They don't I'm just yeah. I don't know, man. We're not taught that stuff growing up, you know? Exactly. And everybody knows they need it, but they kind of hope 
that word can pass them by and they can just pretend they knew what they were talking about. And they, yeah, man, they, they all watch that Kevin Costner field of dreams movies. The problem, <laughs> if you build it, they will come. If I just, if I become a speaker, if I just start speaking, yeah. uh, you know, if I can get up on a, you know, a church stage on Sunday, somebody's going to discover me and it'll be all yep. the races, you know? Yep. yep. Yeah. That's Dude, the speaking, brief, the, you know? the speaking industry is brutal too. All right, well, hold on. the one thing I always laugh at, uh, I've, I meet so many former youth pastors turned entrepreneur. It's ridiculous. <laughs> like, I, it's like, I think, I think youth pastors go in and they get into church and they want to be entrepreneurial. And then they realize there's like hierarchy and structure. And then they, they're like, but they still have the, enough freedom where they can like, all right, I'm going to make up the game I'm playing this week. Yeah. Right. With the kids, <laughs> you know? And then they're like, okay, this pays $4 an hour. I got to go. Make <laughs> I, I can't tell you how many friends I've got that have former youth pastor in their byline. Yeah. <laughs> so, so funny. It's like, um, wait a minute. Can I eat Taco Bell this week? Please. I know, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> one taco or two, or do I need to split this one? You yeah, know, dude, I seriously uh, felt for a long time, like ordering not on the dollar menu was splurging. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But yeah, dude, <laughs> and I don't crazy. have the creative control that I want to have. And you know, I can't dude, imagine, man, when, when I like, uh, how old are you? How old are you? I can't I'm remember. 40. Okay, I'm 44. Okay. No, I'll be 44 in two weeks. Okay, and uh, and uh, so 40 about the same age. Dude, I remember going to Taco Bell as a kid, man. It's like, dude, you could get like 49 cent Tuesday tacos and get you uh -huh. about a 80 of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I went to KFC the other night. I got my kid eight chicken strips and two mashed potatoes, and it was 40 dollars. <laughs> it was like, what is going on, man? Like, I got take the biscuits back. You know. Wow. <laughs> Wow, yeah, it's, it's crazy right now out there, it's man. With gas, you know. I know it's Kentucky Fried <laughs> Chicken, man. It's supposed to be the give me. A, I used to be able to get a bucket for my. You know, you used remember the family reunion? You'd go get the bucket of chicken for like ten dollars and uh -huh. feed all seventy of your cousins. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bucket um, of chicken. Yeah, I, but that speaking of what is crazy about the marketing thing? Like, I got a really good friend of mine, um, and um, he's got an incredible story. When he was a kid, he actually went blind. Uh, wow. They actually made a movie about him because he, he kept playing football all through high school, even though he couldn't see. Oh, wow. And, and he got out there and was speaking and all this and like with us and he's good. He's really good on stage and he's incredible. But then he, you get out there and you're like, man, it's still really competitive. It's still really hard. And it's like that. It's like there it is. There's the marketing aspect mm -hmm. of it, right? Like even an incredible story is not mm -hmm. enough. Like we have a really good story and we've crafted it well and we tell it well. And like, but man, you've got to know how to sell yourself, you know, Absolutely. and market yourself Absolutely. or nobody's going to do it. So this is a super Absolutely. valuable mission. You've got some digital experience. Mm -hmm. So you're like, Hey, maybe I can help speakers learn how to, the, the marketing aspect of speaking, right? Like how do you market yeah. yourself as a speaker? And that you started a coaching practice, correct? Yeah. So it, it kind of, it was a lot of pieces coming together. Cause I, at the time I had a, a digital marketing agency for realtors just cause I knew I could deliver for them. I didn't like real estate. I wasn't passionate about it. It didn't, it wasn't something that got me out of bed in the morning, but you know, I could deliver. So I had yeah. that. And then I had my speaking business that I was building. And then I went, how do I bring those together? And I realized my marketing knowledge is super valuable for speakers. I can teach people not only how to speak, but how to do it well. Right. And I wanted to have an element of my business that was coaching, not just marketing, not just speaking. Um, yeah. And so it, it's a it, multiple, multiple streams of income strategy. I mean, you got to diversify yeah. a little bit, you know? Yeah. And, and so it clicked and it, I realized like, wait, speakers are my people. That's my tribe. That's the people I understand their problems, their industry, everything. And so I was like, wait a minute, I could coach them. I could uh, consult them. I could market for them. I could write yeah. a book and a course and all this stuff. And like, um, and it just clicked and I pivoted my business, brought everything together. Um, and so that's what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm building out a framework that's going to serve speakers from every angle. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, yeah. So that, yeah. you know, but with a, with a definite marketing feel, like the flavor is we got to sell you. It's not enough. Right. You, we got to do all these other things, but right. we got to sell you, bro, sis. You know what I'm right. saying? Like we got to get you out in the world. Right. And a lot of that is that like, uh, you don't, you don't have marketing as one piece of your business. Your entire business is marketing. You yes. know what I mean? How you talk is marketing, how you position yeah. yourself is marketing, not just the ads you run on Facebook, you know? Um, so it's every step of the way building, you know, your business out to where you're something that catches fire, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and, and, and that's really important. Like you have to think about it like that. Like one thing I've got a question going on with my team right now 
you know, we do a lot of stuff. I mean, it's crazy what we've got going on. I mean, like it's, I, I, sometimes I'm like, how do we even pull this off? You know, mm -hmm. there's so much going on and a question that we're wrestling with right now. We have a, so in a, we do, we don't, we do a, you ever heard of Brian Moran's 12 week year? You ever heard of that before? So uh, basically, I, yeah, oh, it's a great book. It's I've interviewed him on my other podcast. You ought to check it out. So basically his theory is you can get done in 12 weeks. What most people do in 12 months. The problem is just focus. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we will meet every fourth month to plan the next three months. So you can do the 12 week year. He does it in like a week, but I can't, I'm not as good as him. So I got to have like more time. <laughs> so I'm, I got people, we're, we're meeting in April. We're about to do a 12 week year. We did not do one last quarter because we had so many speaking gigs. We just knew what we were doing this okay. year. Now we've got more people. So we're trying to like plan out how to use our resources better. And when you, when we go, the week, I'm trying to uh, wrestle with some questions. And one of those things I've been asking is, what is the one thing that markets everything in our business, right? And like, I'm talking like, people don't understand, marketing is about discovery, mm -hmm. but it's also about sales. It's also the process of getting them to the sale. When they join your membership, you're still doing internal marketing every month, so they pay next month. Yep. It never ends. Like what is and like what are what is the rallying cry, the overarching goal of the whole thing, you know? Because I want marketing to permeate everything that we do, right? Mm -hmm. um, and like I've kind of come up with a couple of things. One of them is uh, one of the concepts we're wrestling with it still is community. Mm -hmm. You know, like if your people are a community, the people that follow you, that's the best marketing you could ever have because that's they will forgive you, they will rally to you, they will love everything you do, like that because they're a community, right? We care about mm -hmm. each other. Mm -hmm. The other thing is just podcasting. How do you use podcasting in your retention marketing? How do you use it in your discovery marketing? How do you use it in your process marketing to get them to a sales page? And now the sales process takes over. Mm -hmm. So just wrestling with that thing of everything's marketing, guys, yeah. right? Like, I don't want a marketing director. Everyone's on the marketing team. I don't care what your title is, you yeah. know? And Absolutely. it's the same thing with like speaking. So, so you're doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. You've built this up. Now we're looking, you know, when we met, we did a class down in South Florida, and we showed you how we scaled past coaching, how we took our message to the masses and how we did that. So now you're looking at scaling this, right? Where you can reach more speakers, more people and do things mm -hmm. like that. Correct. Is that the goal? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, like I said, it's, it's, the goal is to serve them from every angle at every level. So, yep. um, right now it's a six month coaching program for my high end students where, you know, I'm walking them from like from zero to from A to Z. Right. So from, I think I, and it's you coaching, correct? Speak. You're the coach. Yeah. yeah. And I'm coaching them one-on-one -on -one. and I'm coaching them through conquering the fear of the stage, how to write a great talk, how to present that talk in a way that connects with people, not just somebody talking on a stage and everybody leaves the room the same as they came in, um, how to be on stage so that you're engaging and you're the person that people can't take their eyes off of right to left. Um, they're not looking at their phone and then how to take your message and get it in front of the right people. Um, mm -hmm. so you know, after that, when they, you know, once they start getting, or once they're at the point where they're getting gigs and getting booked and everything, we can either run marketing for them or, you know, they can do it on their own with what we've taught them to do. But that's like, that's one piece, right? The coaching, the next piece, the, the membership model piece that I'm working on is having a step down from that. If they're not ready for the investment of high level coaching, or that's just not where they're at in their business yet, you know, and they want to invest in, I'm going to pay you X amount per month uh, and get some value. They don't have direct access to me is what I'm thinking in how I'm building this, uh, but they'll be getting value that's worth what they're paying. And, you know, hopefully at some point, like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of because of time, right. I'm capped at how many students I can work with directly. Yeah, for sure. One at any given time, you know, because I always want to serve my clients at the highest level. So in order yeah. to do that, I can't take on a hundred students at the same time, or I'm not yeah, serving yeah. any of them really well. So, um, at each point that we have, you know, new spots open up in our coaching program, the people on the membership will have first access to, how, how do you, how do you find clients now? Do you do honestly, like ads, marketing, just word of mouth? Like, what do you do? Honestly, right now, it I haven't needed to do much of anything to be for honest. sure. Like, yeah, one one on one like, coaching is like that. People don't understand. Like, once you get one or two good clients, bro, you're gonna have five. You yeah, know, and, and like, the thing is, like, I've yeah. just gone to things that I would want to be at, um, that people like me would want to be at, people that 
you know, either our business owners are speaking as part of their job or something like that, but are, you know, have money to invest and they're at something that says like, I'm looking for what to do with my money. And I believe in investing in myself and my business. So whether it was like, I went to a Grant Cardone conference, I went to a Tony Robbins conference, I went to uh, funnel hacking live, um, yep. things that I normally want to be at anyway, but people like me are there saying, Hey, how do I spend my money on things that are going to grow my business? Yeah. And, and also too, like to I speak like, uh, a lot now, mm -hmm. you know, it's got, that's become a whole new animal in our business. Mm -hmm. I've, I don't think I've ever been in a room that I've spoke at that someone hasn't come up to me going, how do I be a speaker? Yeah. Like if you walk off a stage, there's a line of people. It doesn't matter who you are. Like there's Absolutely. always a line of people. Absolutely. And one of them is going to say, God, I love what you do, man. I'd love to be a speaker. <laughs> oh, really? Here's my card. <laughs> you know, well, like, and that's exactly how it's happened at those conferences. Everywhere I'm going, I'm just having conversations with people and I'm showing interest in what they do. I'm saying, Hey, what do you do? What do you, you know, what are you about? And inevitably they end up asking me in return. Cause that's how conversations work. Right. Yep. And they go, what do you do? And I say, I coach speakers and every single time it's either, Oh my gosh, I need what you do. Or I know someone who needs what you do. And yeah. so I haven't needed to run a single ad. I haven't needed to like for sure gas yep. pedal on the marketing because it's all been like, I've actually had to try to slow it down a little bit <laughs> to not like, Oh, do you stuff. create content now? Like blog, podcast, YouTube, anything? Not at the moment. I've been planning to uh, build a YouTube channel and then, okay. you know, reuse the audio for podcast form as well. Perfect. That's exactly how we teach it. All right. All right. So here's, what I hear right now before we just dive down this rabbit hole. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of, there's a lot of different reasons to do a membership model. Like scale is always one of the best reasons, but also some people just want to start their income. You know what I mean? Yeah. This one uh, sounds like really, this is a lead generation tool almost like, right. It's like, can I take a hundred people and can they pay me whatever a month? Right. And I'll tell you this, Speaker niches are more, I would probably not charge less than like 97 or something for it because mm -hmm. it shows you're serious, you know, and you want the people who are serious about actually doing this. And there's a lot of right. people out there that want to do this. Right. But like, this sounds like it, a, a, it's definitely a scale play and it's a remove, you know, if you if your membership goes a hundred bucks a month and you get 200 people, that's 20 grand a month. Right. Mm -hmm. That immediately says you don't have to take as many one-on-one -on -one clients. You know right. what I mean? Because right. you got 20 grand just sitting there. Mm -hmm. So that frees your time up. And this looks like a lead gen tool. Like I've got a, a couple of people in my community. They just love that sweet spot of around 200 people mm -hmm. um, between a hundred and two hundred dollars a month because they have, they love coaching. They have coaching. They want to like, if I had time, I would love to work on one coach, but my yep. company's grown so big. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. But like they love it and they are not going to let go. Right. They, mm -hmm. they love that feel of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and yeah. the membership preps those people to prime the pump mm -hmm. so that it's, you don't have to go to the conferences anymore. You just got your people there. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. does that sound like the goal kind of here is like replace some of this income, uh, but also just feed my machine. Uh, this is my marketing machine right here, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, I dig it. Because um, it allows me to it allows me to serve the people that aren't ready for what I'm doing just yet and also get them ready for what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. You know, what's interesting when I uh, sometimes like um, like you said, some, I wrote some notes here. You said six months of coaching, right? You take them through this process. It's a very accelerated process because you're actually doing it with them, right? Mm, yep. um, but it's like, you know, we get their presentation ready. We teach them how to be on stage. We, uh, and then I teach them how to market themselves to go out and get, a, get gigs, okay? Mm. That time frame that you're in right now, you've got to kind of let go, you know? Um, you kind of got a 3X whatever time frame you think you can take somebody through. Right. Because I, I would guess that a normal person would come in and it would take them six months to even wrap their brain around their presentation, period. Mm -hmm. If they're doing it, it's not DIY. It's more like doing it together, but it's like in a membership kind of environment. Right. Mm -hmm. And then at the same time, there would need to be like examples of like, then, then they're going to get into, OK, what do I need? Then I got to practice this thing a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I think there would even be something like, OK, now you know, your first mission is to go do it for free five times. Right. And you're just trying to find anybody that will let you talk in front of anybody, 10 people, whatever. I laugh because one of the first speaking things I did on a stage, I just volunteered for a local church thing. They had an, like an arena and like I went around and me and Jocelyn got up on stage uh, 
and we were talking. It was a big stage. It was all set up nice, but there was like four people in the audience, and there was basically <laughs> a glorified flea market on the other side of the wall, you know? <laughs> yeah. So it's like, you know, you're talking to three people doing your presentation that you do all the time, right? Mm-hmm. And, but you know what? I, it was like, I got to do my presentation. I got to be on a stage. I got to speak, you know, whatever. And then, you know, last, you know, two weeks ago, I was in front of 8,000 people in Dallas, Texas, in the middle Mm -hmm. of a stadium, you know, that's the way it works, but like, it doesn't work that way overnight. So like, I wonder if you could like, I think structurally program wise is where you got to start. You're going to kill YouTube because you're going to be consistent discipline. You know how to talk speakers crush podcasting Mm -hmm. on YouTube, which is easy for us. Um, you, when you get in front of a bunch of people, then you're just talking into a microphone and a camera. Yeah. It's like no big deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you no know? big deal at all. <laughs> That's just doing it. Yeah, but like I think where you should start is definitely this program. Like, where is the point you take them to through the DIY? What is the thing you can create that doesn't require you, except for maybe like a once a month Q and A, right? Yeah. For the whole community, you know, and like, and it's just rapid fire, five minutes a pop. Like, what? Where can you take people to that, that way, and then? What is the ultimate entry point into that coaching program? I don't think the coaching program changes either. I think you still have to go over their presentation with them. Mm-hmm. You still have to coach them on the stage and you still have to get, get into marketing. Right. 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 But like, 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 what do you think that point is that you've got to get people to like the perfect client walking into my one-on-one coaching has this done go. Uh, I would say the, the perfect client walking into my coaching program already has figured out, uh, what their message is, what not necessarily it's crafted entirely, but they know the message that lives inside them that they need to get out to the world. Yeah. Um, So it's not the person who says, I would love to be a speaker. I just don't know what I would do. Right. Or or it's not that person. And it's like, we've all been this person as a speaker, Uh, an event coordinator. You ask somebody if you can speak and they say, what do you talk about? And they say, what do you want me to talk about? Right. No, 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 no. That's not right. That ain't right. 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 That, that's of, where the free content lives. Yep. <laughs> like, let's, yeah. Like, because know. if you speak on everything, you speak on nothing. And if you speak to everyone, you speak to no one. That's right? exactly right. Um, yeah. But like now currently I do coach my clients through that part if that's where they're at. And, you know, there's no problem with that. But if you're asking the perfect client coming in. Yep. Oh, yeah. Says, they know their message. They know right. what they want to say. Yeah. Like I've got a client right now who started her own foundation for foster youth coming out of the foster program. And she knew I want to speak to bring present, to bring awareness to my foundation, you know? And another said, you know, I'm a fifth grade math teacher and I have more conversations with students about identity than I do about math. And anybody can teach math, but I want to teach kids about adopting the right identity, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so like that kind of thing where it's like they they might not have it fine-tuned, but they know what's on their heart. Well, they probably don't have it fine-tuned. That's the reason right. they really exactly. need you, right? But they, yeah. but if you put them to the gun to their head, they could outline it, Right. you know? They, like that's probably where they're at. Rough idea, this is what I'm excited about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. I mean, and I, and I, you know, I got a buddy of mine, uh, his name is Mike Passioni, and, uh, you know, he's a speech coach. I still lean into him. I just sent him my last talk. I've done this for 10 years. I've told this story a thousand times on podcasts and stages, but like, I'm still going to get feedback, right? Right. We all need that, you know? So like, that's, that's really like, I, I, that's when you need the coach is when it's time to really refine and get it dialed in. You know, Jordan had a coach till he, you know, quit basketball. hundred percent, hundred percent, man. Anyone that doesn't have a coach at any time in their life or a mentor is probably not in good shape. You have not figured it out. People. Yep. Shane Sams has mentors and coaches. Hello. (laughs) Uh, yep. You know what I mean? Like we, I mean, I'm, this is what we do here. Dude, I um, heard Myron Golden. Uh, mine are just way more expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mine too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Myron Golden said last time I heard him talk, he said, uh, a coach without a coach doesn't deserve to be your coach. That's exactly right. That's you know? exactly right. Yeah. That's probably a good question to ask anybody is like, who do you go to for advice? Who do you Absolutely. look up to? You know, Absolutely. I just yesterday called a mentor. Uh, it was his birthday and um, I gave him a call. And, you know, the first word out of it was, you know, he was like, hey, how'd the last event go? I'm like, well, it's really good. You know, revenue's incredible. We're doing great. And he goes, well, make no mistake. I'll be checking on you every week to keep you humble, big boy. Nice. Right? Like just every everything is that you yeah. always need checks and balances. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. All right. All right. So, so, all right. so we know that we would like them to know their message. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I think the 
talking about knowing your message is a free content thing. Okay. What else would someone coming to you in that program really need? Think about your most successful coaching clients. Cause there's always people that fail. There's always people that win. There's always people that do this and that, right? You know, anybody tells you they got a hundred percent success rate, you should probably not join them either. We're giving, you, we're giving you all kinds of things. How do I, you know, if you haven't had a couple of people that were like, oh, that guy crashed and burned, just total dumpster fire. Then you're not a good coach either because you're not saying you got to screw up every once in a while. Yeah. But like you're human. Think about that client, the person who's made it. What was a characteristic they had coming in? What did they already have? Had they had a couple speaking gigs already? Had they tried it? Had they failed? Had they did they have a background in like uh, uh, like content creation, blogging, podcasting, authoring? Like what else? Any of that is helpful, but I would say kind of the factor that's, that's kind of like underneath all of that is they're an action taker, like to the point where they may have taken some actions before they even knew what those actions were going to do or if they were the right action. So maybe they've action. jumped in front of a crowd and bombed. Maybe they've, yeah. <laughs> they've, done, they've just been like, I'm doing it. Let's go. Let's see what exactly. happens. Hair on fire. No plan. Right. Exactly. And they're like, I didn't know what I was doing and it probably was terrible, but I, I did something, you know? Um, because I love it when my clients show up to their coaching call and they didn't just do the assignment I gave them last week. They also did something else we didn't talk about, but thought it was a good idea and did yeah. hoped it was good. <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Like I can take this excitement and this energy and this drive and mold it and shape it and point it in the right direction. You know? Yeah. Um, that's exciting. Three characteristics that I've got written down so far. We've talked about, and we might write a couple more down. And, you know, even when, like, if someone's listening to this podcast and they're like, okay, well, I haven't even had coaching clients yet. How does this impact me? Well, you know, you could still think they can do this thought exercise. Like, who would I, what would I already want them to have figured out? Mm -hmm. Right. You know, like, I love it when people come into our, uh, our program. One of my favorite things, when I find someone who's already creating content, now that could be, they have an really a good Instagram that they post on every day. It could be, they actually have a blog. When I have someone come to me and they already have a blog, I'm like, you're going to be successful. You know what I mean? Uh, it could be, they've got some, maybe a couple clients or they've made some money with ad clicks, or maybe they've got a thousand people that followed their Facebook page, you know, which is really cool. Right? Like when I see that, like, I'm like, that's the person who's going to blow it up. That's what we need. So like that affects my marketing, right? I target people who are course creators. I target people who are uh, bloggers and podcasters and YouTubers and inf though they call themselves influencers, but they're influencing right. no one. Right. You know, <laughs> you know, but like, you know what I'm saying? When I find those people, I'm like, you're not influential until you make enough money to be influential. Right. You know, like, right. like that's money makes the mission possible. People I hate to tell you that. So yeah. don't tell me you're an influencer when you have no influence, right? right. We'll help you, you get the three influence. followers. Yeah, <laughs> right. Exactly. Uh, so like that, those kind of, but when someone comes to me like that, I, that's the people I want to target, right? That's what I'm mm -hmm. looking for. So like I got written down, they know that they know what they want to say. They at least could like, and you know, they had, they have their message. They could probably outline it, but they couldn't speak it. They've already tried something, right? They've got it in front of their church. They, whatever, you know what I mean? They've done something where they've like, I'm just going to go try this, see what happens. They've tried to make a PowerPoint slide deck and craft their story. And it's terrible. You know, uh, it's all aerial font and like <laughs> stick men. Right. Um, although Russell Brunson's made about a billion dollars with stick men. So whatever, <laughs> what do I know? All right. Then you got content creator, like they're, they're trying to, they're, they've, they've made attempts to get their message out in the world. That could be even something like they've went on a couple podcasts. Mm -hmm. They've been interviewed, like they've mm -hmm. done something out in the world. All right. So what else, what other characteristics of somebody you love to see come into that coaching program? other than those three things. I get excited about working with people who have a drive not to not to just like have a business that makes money, but to actually serve and help and impact the world, you know? Yeah. Um, a message that matters, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's like that knowing your mission, yeah. not just your message. There's a difference. Yes. You, you know what I'm saying? Like your mission, you know, my mission my mission is to help families have choices. That's really what our mission is here. Yeah. Right. Having a strong and do it God's way. way. Yeah. 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 Like that. Like, and we do the vehicle we use to do that is we help them take control of their income. Mm -hmm. I help you make money online because if right. you make your own money online, you have choices. You don't have to work for the bad boss. Yeah. You don't have to have the nine to five. You, you can do those things just you, a side hustle, but you have choices, right? right. That right. means you have choices with your time. And if you have choices with your time, you're on fire, right? So that's our mission, right? Mm -hmm. But our message is 
do that, but don't work 70 hours a week. Like Gary V tells you to do. That's crazy. Right. Don't get, <laughs> don't end up divorced like him. You know, don't, don't do these things. Like you can, our, our message is do this while protecting your current job. Do this while protecting your spouse and your family and your kids. So that's our message. So maybe a, like a strong mission statement crafted. Like they're like, listen, I'm on fire to help single moms to make it through this world. Yeah. Right. And my message is um, you can do it with the resources you already have. Okay. Right. So that's kind of like mission and message. That's good. Yeah, that's having good. a really strong why. Yeah. Why and mission are kind of not interchangeable though. Sometimes, you know, like you're cause, cause you can confuse people. Like your why is like, why there's like multiple whys. There's like, a, there's why I do this, like my family. And then there's why I do this because I really care about other families. Right. You know, Right. So I think sometimes like, separating, I think the external why is always like more where your mission lives. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah what and I'm the thinking internal is like, like personal. Yeah. Because when I think of why, I think the term mission statement always felt really daunting to me, you know, um, yeah. not having any like, you know, uh, like I was a communication major in college, not a business major. So like <laughs> mission statement was like, wait, how do I word that exactly? You know, it felt also very, now think, very, think about this. Think about think about what you just said. Because we mm -hmm. actually have a, uh, we actually added a full session now on uh, vision and mission for the business and mm -hmm. vision and mission for the family. We we do that live now. I don't yeah. th I don't think we did it at the one you did because we added it like after it. Okay. But it was like because everyone in the room felt like that was daunting. Yeah. So don't you think your people might need help with that daunting task? Well, that's ah. that's kind of what I'm getting at is why yeah. you refer to it as the why. Yeah, uh, is because saying, hey, what's your why? Why do you do this? Why is this important? Like, why do you want to build this business? That feels more like a just casual conversation rather than like something official you have to have worded correctly on paper and stuff like that. Um, and so what you do need guess, what you do need. You, you do, need it. But you do got to hand it out. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, but I think when I think of why, I think you've got two. It levels scares people. Why you've got <laughs> yeah. you've got. I do this because I want to pay rent and like have a, an income like that. Um, the other why, the bigger why is like, aside from caring for your family, aside from paying the bills, aside from your own responsibilities, why does this matter in the world? Like why, why is your message important? You know? Yeah. Um, not why just, do you want to do it? I can and why do you want to take it to the world? Yeah. It's not, I can say it from stage and it'll make money. That's not a good why. You know, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay. Well, let me, let me, let me show you what I've written down so far. Okay? okay. This is an exercise I do with people just to kind of, a lot of times finding what you teach in your membership is half the battle of scaling, right? Like if you just know the path that mm -hmm. you could take the, the, a path, it doesn't have to be the path. That's a, probably the wrong word. It's a path, the mm -hmm. starting path, right? Mm -hmm. Beta 1.0, 2.0. That's how you got to do everything. And you look through that, you can kind of lay out like a flow. And like when I'm looking at this, what I see is a flow of what your membership could do to get people ready for the coaching. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. there's, there's, I think you might have an interesting thing that you can do on the back side of things too. What do you do after they get done coaching with you? Do they, do you have anything monetizing? Do they come back? Like what happens there? Well, uh, so it's actually a, um, it's new enough that I don't have anybody on the back end yet who's completed the six month. Uh, oh, gotcha. This was, okay. This Perfect. was a new pivot within this last year. Yeah. So we'll uh, think about this. We'll just think and about so it. So my idea was when they get to that point, uh, I need to have something else for them, you know, yeah. but one and of ongoing, but you, you like, you've got agency support, so you can even offer people marketing support. Right. right? So that's something that's I probably can outsource good. to my team of, of marketing experts to market yep. for them. Um, you know, and I want to also have an option for like, if they want more ongoing coaching, what does that look like? Does it look like yep. another six months? Does it look like a month to month? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Even maybe, a, I think at that point, once you work one-on-one -on -one with someone, you put them in a group coaching, like mastermind environment. I think that's yeah. way more efficient, like to go from one-on-one -on -one to group, right? Mm -hmm. Or even directly into group. Group coaching is incredible because they get to talk to each other, you know? Yeah. But I mean, if you want the big ticket and then you put them in the group afterwards, like, you know, if you're charging, a, am just going to throw a number out like a thousand bucks a month, like 6,000 for six months or whatever. Right. Then they come into it and you're like, Hey, you can join our mastermind tier for 497 a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you build these, you build these little pods that just get facilitated. Right. Mm -hmm. 
10 people up high, you got 30 people paying whatever. When I hear this and we go through this process of what do people really need to, to get to where I'm wanting to go? Like if I was coming in, it's, it's almost like you need to be like, I'm going to first make you a speaker. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make you a speaker. So here's how we're going to do that. Now, you know, now remember, I did not say get paid to speak. Mm-hmm. I did not say a professional speaker. True. It's become a speaker. That's kind of like the first part. They, they come in and you help them write their personal why. Okay. You, you, make, you make it a daunting task. You take them down the rabbit hole like of brutal clarity that if anyone read that piece of paper, they would know why personally they were doing it. And then the next step is now we're going to clarify your mission and message. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you have all of the things in there. You, you pretty much, you know, it, it's the same thing what you tell to everybody, depending on your framework, probably when you're coaching them, when we're making the PowerPoints, when we're putting the hero's journey together, when we're doing the, whatever the teaching is, the presentation, right? There's, we all know there's structure to it. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we all try to hit the high notes with their stories. So like you need to just uh, productize that. That needs to be a course, Right. These all need to be courses. And it's just like, you know, you start here two months later, you come out and then you've got your, um, you've got your initial presentation. You've got your message, right? We can teach that without you having to be there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then I think you do two things. Uh, there, there's two ways that you, they got to get experience, right? Probably before they're ready to you, for you, you know, the easiest way to get experience is to become a YouTuber. I'm telling people, if you want to be a speaker, Start a podcast or be on YouTube because then you get to talk every day and you get, nobody has to hire you, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So like you have this thing of, okay, now you're going to take this mission, this message, this desire out to the world. We're not going to wait for somebody to hire you. We're immediately going to start speaking into mm-hmm. a microphone. So you can recommend mm-hmm. a microphone, show them how to set up a YouTube account real quick. We're going to put you on YouTube and you're going to start talking every week, right? You're going to just go out and speak into the ether a little bit, all right? And all of a sudden people will see it and they'll come and you know, we'll have them do that. So that we make them a con. I would probably say stick with YouTube and not do the podcasting thing, because if these people want to be a speaker, that means they want to be seen. So you need to right. get on camera. Right. Uh, basically what you're doing is you're using your membership to get them reps that they probably wouldn't do. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. And reps are critical. Right. Uh, people always ask me, how did you walk on the life search stage and destroy um, the first time you had ever spoke in front of thousands of people like that? And I said, because I've got 10,000 hours of that story. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. I've got the reps. Uh, Absolutely. All right. And then I think you have a, I don't know if you create this or what you do. I think the membership part is a, all right, now we need real world reps. So it's like free gigs, right? How do you get free gigs? There's a course about it. Like come up with ideas, like go to your local church, see if you can host an event, uh, you know, whatever, do it for free. Add, even lose money on it, right? Like get your, you got to get pictures of you on a stage talking to humans, right? Because that's going to add to your marketing later, right? Absolutely. And then I think you give them a little module on that first gig, okay? Because the I think where your coaching is most beneficial is going to be when they do all this, they come to you and they've already got all the pieces. And now you just refine the message and you show them how to get more gigs, right? That's what the marketing's for. Because we're all guiding them to that marketing. But, you know, it's going to take people three to six months to get through this membership even. And, and the average of the bell curve, if you look at the bell curve, it's probably going to take more like nine months for the, for the average person to get through it because people go slow and fast, right? Mm-hmm. And what you're doing is you're just building. And then you give them a chance to talk to each other, right? Speakers talking to speakers, helping each other with presentation. Uh, maybe you pick a person each week and you get on a Zoom and you have an employee there or somebody running your team, they show up, they have a Zoom, you get 10 of your people on, and somebody gets to present like Toastmasters kind of deal, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they get to present to each other, right? Get feedback, you know, it's like a little group thing. So they get more reps, mm-hmm. right, in front of real live people that are, you know, looking right back at them. Um, that's kind of what your community would feel like is just rotating people through like a Toastmasters style thing. And then if you can get people their first little like free gigs, they're going to have confidence. If you can get them a paid gig, that's fine. But if they struggle there at that last step, step six, which is not month six, it's step six, um, that could take 12 months for somebody to get there, right? But that last one, if they struggle getting it, they're going to need you. Which piece is and that? It, the, the getting the first gig, right? As soon as they get to like, I've got my PowerPoint, I've got my message, I've been making content and practicing. I've done a couple free things that the local churches or local royal, uh, uh, what's, the, uh, what's the old school things where you used to go talk at lunch to people? Um, the local club, Rotary. 
stuff like oh, that. Rotary, yeah. Yeah. There's still, that stuff still exists. Like you can get, yeah. you can speak in front of anybody. Um, so they've gotten all this thing and they're like, they're, they're at a fork now. Did I get my first gig? I did, man. I want more of those. Someone paid me to do this. I need Kevin now to show me how to refine this and get more. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they, they ascend up to that group coaching program. If they split the other way where it's like, I'm struggling to get the paid gig. Mm -hmm. They need to go to the coaching program to get more, whether it's group or Kevin. Right. Mm -hmm. So now you have this membership that naturally one helps people mightily. Some people are going to take off with this and they may not even need you. That's cool. Right. That's a success story. But then it, it generally leads them to where, you know, they need to be is in this program. And then on the backside, you just serve them, you know, X percent of your people that flow through our digital marketing clients on the backside for more recurring revenue. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So that's a great, that's a classic membership driven group coaching to services ascension model. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all right there, bro. You just got to, you just got to make modules for that personal why, the mission, the message, the content, uh, make them a content creator. I think that's really good for people. Uh, help them get free gigs and then help them get their first gig. Right. Yeah. So now you can advertise your membership is start speaking on stage. That's what they're doing. Start speaking on stage. You're not saying get paid you're saying start speaking on stage. And then maybe your coaching becomes now you want to be a speaker. You want this to be a career. Let's go. And you, and now you're only getting perfect clients now because that's right. your best clients. You told me, right? Right. Right. So you're good. It's solid. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about all that? I like that. That's pretty um, legit. Yeah. And so something else I'm working on right now is is building out a course for my coaching clients yep. so that I can move from one on one to a group, group mastermind yeah. coaching call. I highly suggest um, you do that. Yeah. yeah. Your your students will be better off not having you be their one on one coach. That's yeah, that was the the whole idea is I was like, I'm I'm limited when everybody is one hour call. And they're not, they're having to wait for me to get the next step. That's and right. If they're ready for the next how to, they can watch it on their own. I can't um, tell you how many group coaching calls in our community, which our group coaching are, they're awesome. You know, I don't know. I can't tell you how many start out with everybody in line to ask a question. And then by the third or fourth person, everyone's like, ah, I don't think I have a question anymore. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like, ah, I'm good. And I heard they asked what I was going to ask or I was scared to ask, exactly. you know? What an ascension too. Like if you could have, let's say you had 200 people paying a hundred dollars a month mm -hmm. in the uh, ma membership part. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So there's 20 grand. That's totally doable. If you put the marketing behind it and you do the content, like, you know, it might take a year to get there, but you can crush the 200, you know, like, mm -hmm. right. Once you build up the content a little bit, then you got, let's say, so you can only serve like six people now. Right. Let's say that at any given time, that you have 10% of, let's say 5%, just to make it really lower. No, let's say 10%. All right, so let's uh, let's say at any given time, you have 10% of that membership in your coaching program, the group coaching program. Let's forget the one-on-one -on -one for right now, yeah. okay? So that'd be 20 people. How much do you charge now, now a month for coaching, give uh, or take? So it's, it's 7K for the six month. Okay, so it's let's just say that that's, a, okay, I got that. Let, let's say that this is also 7K. Mm-hmm. It's, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be more worth it when you're in a mastermind setting. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So let's say that you have 20 people times hold on, 20. Was it, what's 7K divided by uh, six? All right. So let's say it's about 1,200 bucks right now a month because that's what it really is. You're just making them pay up front, you know? Yeah. And then you times that by 20. So there's another $24,000. And that's doable. 10% 10, 10 of a membership into your coaching program is way doable, right? Because mm -hmm. what will happen is once you get to 20, it'll be staggered. Like someone will join this month. Someone will join that month. So maybe like two people come out or quit and then you just have to sell two more. Like, it's not like you have to do that. Right. So you're already at like 50 K, you know, and then whatever the digital marketing services are, um, or the speaker marketing, I don't even know what you charge for that. What do you charge for that? Like if you wanted, I don't you know figured that out yet. Yeah. All right. That'll cost something, but it'll be 20% profit margin or something, whatever, right. Right. you know, but that's just gravy on the backside. Right. Right. Mm hmm. So now you can serve those 20 people in the same three hours, mm -hmm. you know, or you, instead of, instead of six hours, you're doing three calls a, a week. Right. Right. And you have like, you know, seven in each one of them. Okay. And you got the 200 members. So basically your job then becomes what you're good at marketing to speakers, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. it's pretty legit, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. And then you, then we're not even, we've not even gotten to the part yet where you hire coaches. Right. <laughs> yeah. 
they, then you then you multiply yourself. Like I'm hiring two more coaches pretty soon. Get this. We're going to have group coaching Monday through Friday. Mm. Mondays are going to be uh, noon and 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have 9 a.m., noon and 9 p.m. on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then we're going to have morning and noon on Friday. That's scale. At that mm -hmm. point, you're just crushing it. Yeah. You know? And I'm thinking once, you know, I get clients finishing the six months, you know, take someone taking some of the oh, yeah. clients and hiring them as coaches as well. That's that right. And, and you'll, you'll up your, your success rate. If you can get people, f our success rate in our coaching program, you know, there's always, there's always a bell curve, no matter what you do. Right. Of course. Yeah. Um, 80, 20 year old, 20% of people are going to buy a million dollars worth of stuff and not do anything. 20% are going to crush it in three months and everybody else lives in the middle, no matter what you charge. That's the way it works. I was at a, and boy, I was at click funnels headquarters in a mastermind with Myron golden and Russell Brunson. And Russell Brunson, and this was not cheap to come into this room, okay? Mm -hmm. He asked everyone, who has actually got a business right now? And like 70% of that room had no business. Wow. Nothing. Had not even started. And I was looking over at my buddy I went with, and I was like, because we've been established, you know? I went to a Brendan Richard event one time. There was 2,000 people in there. And he said, Who's a, who makes a full-time living as a podcaster? I'm the only one that stood up. <laughs> So, I mean, you just, that's, that's how humanity works, man, yeah. you know, yeah. but like, you know, if you can, your, your success rate will increase so much dramatically when you have people that are already through your membership mm -hmm. coming into your stuff. What follow-up questions you got, man? That's a great question. Well, we can save it. We can save it for community <laughs> stuff. Yeah. We can save it for coaching calls. I don't want to overwhelm anybody, but, um, I just, yeah, yeah. follow-up questions yeah, man. I didn't even think of. Uh, yeah, dude, how about just go back and listen to this. Mm -hmm. write some questions down, bring them to coaching, bring them to the forums, bring them to the community. And yeah. you know, now it's just like kind of structurally like, well, Oh wow. I just have to prepare people in my membership. So I got to make that right. content. Right. And I got to market the membership. Yeah. And then I, I got to turn my one-on-one -on -one to group. That was my, I think that was the big thing that I was struggling to get my head around is what is the membership piece look like? Is it, you know, focused on the first module of whatever modules I'm getting yeah. paid clients yeah. or like, and you, know, you got to be careful when you're coaching because you can compete with your membership. Exactly. You can compete with yourself. Exactly. Right. You yeah, know, people, um, people don't understand the value of coaching mm -hmm. and like they, they don't understand it's like gas on a fire. Right. But when you explain that they get it, but ah, I might still go do this, but this is different. This membership exists not for what you're really doing in your coaching. Mm. It's to get them to the coaching. Right. right. And prepare right. people. Right. Well, listen, man, I appreciate you coming on and being transparent today. And I know it's kind of like, you know, it's like a 30 minute hot seat, 45 minute hot seat of just <laughs> yeah. ripping things apart. Yeah. But, uh, man, that's what's I great about our community is everybody shares, everybody's transparent, everybody's authentic. And we're all just trying to learn and make it back together, man. So Absolutely. thanks for coming on the program, dude. Hey, where can everybody find your stuff? Are you online? Do you have a website they can yep. go check you out? TheSpeakerSolution.com. TheSpeakerSolution.com. There you go. If you want to be a speaker. Solution.com. Go check out Kevin. Now, all you youth, all you youth pastors out there, here's your way out. <laughs> yeah. There's the trap door. <laughs> yep. Yep. And I've got a Facebook group, a free Facebook group right now called Become a Speaker. Awesome. Check that Become out. We'll put speaker. that in the show notes. Let me let me <laughs> restate that. Become a better speaker, I believe. Is there the you go. So, so somebody better. that just got become a speaker just got a good traffic bump. <laughs> There's another Facebook group out there that we just helped out, man. Yeah, all right, right? dude. So, Appreciate it, man. Dude, thanks for having me on here. All right, y'all, that wraps up my podcast with Kevin Alexander. Man, I cannot wait to see what he does in his online business. And I cannot wait to see what you do in your online business too. Listen, if you want to stay broke and you want to stay not an entrepreneur, all you got to do is listen to this show every week and never take action. And that's what's going to happen. Until you take the next step, you're not going to be able to change your family's future. So we want to help you take that next step right here on the podcast today. Head over to fliplifestyle.com slash free that's F-L-I-P-P-E-D, lifestyle.com slash free. We've got a ton of free resources that you can use to find your idea and to get started on your online business journey, just like all the people are doing inside the Flip Lifestyle community right now. So as soon as you get done here, head over to fliplifestyle.com slash free and check that out today. Also, if you love the Flip Lifestyle podcast, we got a favor to ask. Would you go leave us? a five-star review on Apple Podcasts, or leave us any kind of feedback you can on Spotify or any other podcast app that you use to listen to the show. I read every single one of those reviews and it helps us spread our message out there in the world 
so that we can help as many families as possible flip their lives with online business. All right, y'all, before we go, we love to end every episode of the Flip Lifestyle Podcast with a Bible verse. There's a lot of inspiration and motivation in the Bible when it comes to business and finances and life. And we love to share cool little verses that we find here and there to get you going down the right path. Today's Bible verse comes from Proverbs eleven fourteen, where there is no guidance, a people falls, but in an abundance of counselors, there is safety. And maybe you just haven't taken your next step in online business because you're looking for that guidance. Well, we don't want you to fail in your online journey. So make sure you join the Flip Lifestyle community. Make sure you get inside there and do what we tell you to do. We will be happy to be your counselors. We got hundreds of family focused entrepreneurs from around the world inside as well. And we know we can help you move toward success. All right, y'all, that is all the time we have for this week on the Flip Lifestyle Podcast. Until next time, get out there, take action, and do whatever it takes to flip your life. We'll see you then. Bye.